An important skill to have in electronics is measuring voltage and that is the schematic symbol for a voltmeter. We're going to use a multimeter with the voltage setting but in any case one of the things you can do is measure the voltage of a battery. So batteries they have a rated voltage we're going to look at 9 volt batteries here they're alkaline batteries and uh, when they are brand new and you haven't used them you should expect about 9.5 volts from an alkaline 9 volt battery. When you use them over time the voltage goes down and if you used it quite a bit it's probably going to get to about 7 volts or so. That may be when you want to replace it. Maybe you can still use it a little bit longer depending on your circuit but in uh, any case the uh, voltage goes down over time. So you can see how charged it is by its voltage and uh, we're also going to look at the uh, circuit. So this is more of a uh, what you learn while you're learning electronics, the voltages across components, because that's important. So we're going to use a 12 volt power supply, but we can measure the two sides of the power supply, even with the uh, loads there, and uh, we should get about 12 volts. So remember, uh, voltage doesn't have to be exact. Approximations are uh, usually good for most circuits. Now we have a resistor and an LED in series. We looked at those in uh, earlier videos and uh, current's going to be flowing through them we're going to use a red LED it's going to light up so one thing we'll notice if we measure the voltage across the red LED while it is lit up we're probably going to see about two volts a blue or a green LED should be about three volts right there so it actually drops some of the supply voltage from the resistor these are topics we're going to cover uh, later on so in any case that'll leave about 10 volts across the resistor that's important because if we know the value of the resistor, the voltage across it, we know the amount of current that's flowing through it. The resistor is what is setting the current in this circuit based on its resistance and the voltage across it. Again, future topics. So now for this video, to take our measurements, we're going to use my Laiumi LM2001. They updated this meter right after I bought it. So if you buy one of these now, unless you get the old version, it's going to be a bit different. Uh, but in any case, it's not an auto ranging meter, that's why I'm going to use it in this video. We have to set a uh, specific voltage range. So this is for 20 volts or less. And uh, if it's going to be less than 2 volts, it'll be more accurate if you put it to the 2 volt or less setting. But as we saw before, we got 9 and 12 volts we're going to measure. So we set it to 20, make sure the red probe is in the voltage setting and the black probe calm. Some meters, that's uh, really your only two settings other than high current a lot of times this one has some other readings that uh, we can make Where we'd have to move the red probe, but we don't have to worry about it uh, in this video So this one also has a power button some of them is just an off setting and you got to turn it to the setting you want Auto ranging meters will just have a voltage setting and they do the rest you don't have to worry about the range So as I said before That's a that's actually about as much is you need to know for setting up a meter to read voltage. It's it's not complicated. So we got a couple of batteries here. I actually thought this was going to be the fresh battery and that was going to be the battery with the lower voltage. First we will look at this one. First we're going to measure it in the right way. So this is the uh, negative terminal. Right there we're going to put the black probe and then the red probe to uh, the positive terminal. And there you can see we only got about 6.3 volts approximately. So I actually don't think I ever really use this maybe uh, just a little bit and uh, based on the kit that I got it from but I think since it's a knockoff battery just being it's like three years old maybe four years old uh, the chemistry just wasn't made very good there's different types of alkaline chemistry cheaper batteries they don't last as long and uh, here is a battery that I thought I used a bit and uh, it is down to 9.14 maybe I did use it a little bit but in any case, there you can see it's close to 9.5 volts. You definitely want to use this battery, not that battery, to power something. And uh, if we put the probe backwards, no big deal, we get a negative voltage on the display for a digital multimeter. So analog multimeters, the ones with the physical needle that moves around, uh, maybe putting the probe backwards might damage it. But these digital ones, no problem, you just get a negative voltage on the display. So now we come to our LED circuit. I have the power supply set to uh, 12 volts. The uh, cables are coming around to these alligator clips powering the breadboard. You can see the LED is on. One of the things that may happen is you wire up your circuit 
and uh, if it's an LED circuit, the LED is not on. So what you can do is grab the uh, multimeter and you can measure first the power supply voltage. It's a good idea. Make sure power is getting to the board right there. And uh, there you can see it's showing a voltage for, uh, actually I have these backwards. It should be a negative voltage. This power supply here gives a, a slight negative voltage there, about 0.6 volts when it is off. So that is an important thing to be aware of. But in any case, there we can see the reason why we don't have the LED on is because the power supply is not providing the voltage that it should. So now we got uh, 12 volts being delivered to the uh, breadboard and uh, we're gonna measure that. So I don't know how many power supplies have that problem. This is, I think, the only one I read that uh, shows that. So we're a little less than 12 volts. That's because we're losing a little bit of voltage from the wires, uh, most likely. So they drop a little bit of voltage from the components. As I said before, an LED, red LED, if you measure the uh, voltage across it, while it's lit up, you should get about two volts. And this is actually a lot closer to two volts than I was expecting. Spot on, two volts right there, 1.99. So in any case, we got uh, two volts. And it varies a little bit with that uh, current. Topics for other videos. But uh, just be aware of that. So now we're gonna go, I know it's a little hard to see, going to where the resistor connects to the uh, positive side of the power supply. And we're just shy of 10 volts right there. As I said before, we're gonna have about 10 volts. Since it is a 1000 ohm resistor, we expect about 10 milliamps of current. When we measure current, we'll get a more accurate reading, but uh, that may be 9.99 uh, milliamps or something. It'll still say nine, so it's about 10 right there. What we expect. So you learn a lot about what's going on with the circuit. You can monitor it a lot by uh, taking multimeter measurements. Make sure you turn the power off if it has a power button. And uh, actually this one, you have to hold it down a bit. There you go, and it is off. So in any case, Gonna end that video there, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other ones I posted on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help a lot. I'll see ya in the next video.